guys, I didn't hear wait a new video. This time it's going to be the class tier list for PvP. However, not the node war PvP tier list. But first we'll do the 1v1 tier list. I know people will chime in murder, but uh, I, I personally like my 1v1. So uh, even if I'm a witch and my 1v1 game is a garbo against anyone with a double digit brain cell, I, I still like my um, uh, 1v1s. Anyway, we will use the same system like last time and classes go into the same order as last time as well. Tier list goes from S, awesome, to D, total, garbo. So, uh, like last time, first one up is warrior. It's a class with a grab, a block, decent damage, decent super armor, so nothing special in the damage department there they really are okay so uh gonna give this dude a b next up we have ranger it's still a weird class you want to stay at range but you also want to go in and claim some cheeks but has no survival skills at all still can do a lot of damage if you get knocked and she rips you a new one also gonna put her right next to the warrior at b now Sorceress, shit, my table doesn't have S+. Plus. Nah, just kidding. On console she can't do the animation cancels properly due to the low FPS. Otherwise she would be a real nightmare. So uh, maybe when PlayStation 5 comes out. Still, if you get good with the Sork, she is definitely an S class. Berserker, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of weird how little this class gets played on console. Maybe it's because of all the cannon jumping, I, I I don't know. The few Zerkers I fought all went uh, plop really easy while they have a couple of grabs, high hit points and decent damage, but from what I've experienced, they're a B on console. Now, wheelchair, I mean Valkyrie. Let's all mm, have a minute of silence here as uh, he relies the Valkyrie. No, but seriously. Just, just look at how many dandies are for sale for this class to see how many people are actually re-rolling. Re it's a lot. Until they fix this class, I'm gonna put her at C. If you get high enough AP, she's decent though. But we're talking 275 plus. Wizard has a grab, which is really handy to have in a 1v1. And can dish out. However, when you go against other grab classes, you're not really mobile enough to not get grabbed out of a cast, so gonna put this guy at B as well. I don't think anybody is surprised by this. Which, she gets a block, which uh, <laughs> doesn't help a lot in 1v1, other than the, the short buff it provides. I, I'm not going to kid myself, anyone who knows how to play their class and their class is decent out of 1v1, which is gonna be dead 8 times out of 10. If you're dying to which you're either under geared or doing something wrong, which is going on C because I don't have C plus. So, yeah, sue me. One one pro tip that I can give: um, people that try to sneak behind the witch and she vaults her AOE, you're gonna be you're gonna be dead. All right, so we get back to the lolly. Really good class for a one v one because it's pretty much a 1v2 and the pet can still land a knockdown when the tamer is on the ground though it's pretty hard to pull off her combo chains as she lacks single ability damage still if you know what you're doing with a tamer a tamer to fight against is a nightmare she goes on a mewa next up just re just a newly released class uh, she got a lot of burst damage uh, decent pvp 1v1 because uh, she can just haul ass when she's in a pinch and the enemy is not going to run away when he's in a pinch you're kind of fecked so yeah but she does like a lot of super armors but her mobility really makes up for that so uh, yeah Mewa is going on A then we get the Musa super the super grinder um, Still, he's got a decent set of super armor and mobility, but lacks a little bit of the burst the Mewa has. Still really good class, going on B. 
Ninja, well, if there's one thing Ninja does, it's his 1v1s, really. Um, don't doubt about that. He's, he got invis, high damage, block and grab. Yeah, he, he's got it all to make the fight a nightmare for his opponent. You, sir, go straight to S. Kunoichi! The ninja's little sister. Pretty good on one of you ones. Not as good as a ninja, but uh, she can super armor trade pretty well. Has invis, good healing, um, decent AoEs. It's all her thing, so yeah. Kuno really goes on A. Dark Knight. Good mobility. Lacks self-recovery and requires high AP to really start dishing it out. Can't really take it, so uh, be careful when you go in. DK goes on B for me. Now we get to the striker. <laughs> the 1v1 cheating class. 235 AP is all you need to one combo the enemy and it has good damage against evasion builds. Hard to fight against with the grab on short cooldown, good coverage of super armor and a high natural DP. Obviously the S here stands for striker. Mystic. Really good and super annoying to face off against. Has about 9000 knockdowns, good mobility, self healing, super armors and can drain your resources on good hits. But she's not a striker, so she gets picked down one notch and has to deal with an A. Now, Lan, one of my most favorite classes on PC. Extreme high damage, best mobility in the game, and the grab. Quite squishy, but has awesome self-healing for when shit hits the fan. I can only place Lan on S. Her burst damage is uh, out of this world. Archer. Really high damage, long range, decent mobility, and he can shove a pike up your rear to put that final nail in the you, you know where. Like uh, Lan, pretty squishy, not that much self healing, but uh, at high AP he, he can do to three shot people. Really enjoyable to play too. He gets an A for me. Now, next up is the uh, <laughs> the shy. Whew, that's not exactly a class made for PvP. Uh, she has heavily reduced damage for all her uh, PvP skills. Bit of a meme class as you can build them as a really solid tank. But yeah, don't expect to win any 1v1s unless your opponent is AFK. Uh, look, we, we didn't have anything at D yet, guys. I, I think I, now we do, yeah? Alright, and then we got Guardian. She hits extremely hard with large AoEs. Has super armors for most of her rotations. From what I've seen, telegraphs her skills. So... Uh, I'm torn here. Um, any of the, the really good 1v1 classes are just gonna get out of those telegraph attacks. So... Uh, Unless I've played her myself and from from what I've been reading and um, watching on videos, I, I really like it because I'm gonna switch to Guardian soon. Um, she's getting a B from me. And you all know what the B stands for. <laughs> so uh, yeah guys, that is my 1v1 tier list. If you got any comments, please let me know below. I don't know.